Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lois, and today we are finally doing the updated jewelry collection video. It's been almost a year since the last one, and you guys have been requesting for an updated jewelry collection video, so today I'm finally filming one for you guys. Just like last time, I'm gonna kind of share with you guys my everyday pieces. I mentioned this before in my video, but as someone who loves to collect jewelry, I love to find quality pieces that will last me over time. For me, jewelry is somewhat of an investment and also has a very sentimental value that I know that I can pass on to my kids. Also something that I don't have to worry about um, in the shower as well as tarnishing all of that. All the brands that I share are brands I genuinely love and value. So hopefully this will give you guys a little bit of inspiration and let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start off with my rings. These are my daily rings. It actually hasn't changed that much since the last time, but I'll start off with this hand. This is the stacker ring from Missouri and I have a bunch of these. I just love putting them on all different fingers. Just a very casual, cool look. And then this is a chain ring from a boutique in Korea. And I just love how dainty it is. And then next is this Missouri diamond stacker ring. And I love this. This is probably one of my must haves. If I had to pick one, it's just a great stacker ring. And I've stacked it with my Cartier ring right here, which is, this is the thin version. And I've also added another one on top. This one only goes halfway, so on the other side, it's gold. And then my pinky ring. This has also been one that I've had for a very long time. It's from a store called Popular Jewelry in Chinatown, New York. And then on this hand, it's pretty much the same pieces, the chain ring, the diamond team ring. And this one is from Missouri. It's the Charlotte diamond ring, and I love it. I love this ring because it just adds a little bit more character. When it comes to styling, I like to usually use my pointer finger. I like to add a more bolder piece to it. So whether it be this Charlotte ring or even this other kind of dome diamond ring. And to finish off my everyday ring, I just also added another stacker ring on my thumb. One of my favorite places to buy rings are Missouri. They just have such a wide selection and their diamond collection is definitely by far my favorite. The diamonds are such high quality and there's just something about it. It shimmers and glitters so beautifully, especially in the sun. Definitely have to go see it in person. The first one I'm gonna share is this diamond eternity ring. I'll also put it on so you guys can see. I also like to stack it with this ring, which are just gold beaded. And then on the front just has these two little diamonds. The next couple of other rings are also from Missouri. This is another one from the diamond line. It's this diamond dome ring. This on its own is such a statement. Next is this yellow gold dome ring. I also have it in white gold. This is probably like one of my few white gold pieces, but I, stacked it like this which I think is really really pretty and the last piece from Missouri it's this open diamond ring and what I actually like to do with this ring is put this little L charm which is from Missouri as well I just stick it in here and it's just like a creative way to also wear it because this charm actually um, is for like a necklace I'll just wear the ring like this and I think it's just a really cute way to wear it and you can also stack it again with the diamond ring and that adds a little bit more something to it and the next two rings that I'm going to show you guys are from a brand called Curve and it's a brand that I actually recently found out about while I was in Korea they're a small business and the pieces were so cute that I went into the store and also the owner there was so lovely we quickly became friends I originally found this brand on Instagram and what made me fall in love with them you guys know I like pearls and it was this pearl ring so cute I've worn it a lot and I've gotten so many questions from you guys my favorite way to wear this ring is I got two so I'll just stack it with my diamond team ring and wear it like this. And then the other ring that I got from this brand, it is one of my favorites. It's this beautiful heart ring. And when I saw it, I knew I immediately needed to get it. 
This one isn't real diamond or 14K gold. It is a cubic zirconia and the band is silver with 14K plated. This has been my favorite stack that I wear together. And next, moving on to bracelets. This is still my smallest collection and it pretty much hasn't changed since the last time. So I'm just gonna quickly go over them. This is the stack. The first two pieces are from Cartier. This one is the Juice Dong Clue bracelet and I got mine in a size 17. You're supposed to size up from the Love bracelet. And this is the Love Classic Love and I got it in a size 16. I love both of them. They're super classic, timeless, and really hold its value. Cartier pieces are definitely an investment and these are ones that I would love to pass on to my kids, grandkids. And then these last two bracelets are from Missouri that I also never take off. This first one is a diamond bar bracelet and it stacks really well with these other two. And then this is just a solid diamond. That's pretty much my daily stack. And then I have another bracelet, which I would consider a more like delicate um, special occasion bracelet. This is the mother of pearl five motif all umber bracelet. It's super beautiful and much more delicate than my other bracelet. Stacks really nicely with the other bracelets as well. Some people also will connect it with their necklace. You can connect it on the ends here and wear it as a choker. I always love jewelry that you can style in different ways. So I think that's another plus. I'm gonna show you guys two watches. This first one is one you've already seen, but it's just the classic Cartier tank solo in a size small and I've had this watch for a long time now It's been a great classic day-to-day -day watch. Also, I think the steel bracelet gives it a nice casual look So I'm able to wear it daily Recently, they actually got rid of this model and now it's the tank must which looks pretty much the same except the face here This is flat whereas the must I think kind of pops up So that's pretty much the only difference but if you're looking for this watch best to check on the real real or a secondhand shop and then my only other watch, this one is my favorite, the Cartier Tank Louis. I always had my eye on this watch. I think it's just super elegant and classic, and I love the gold face, but I also love the leather strap detailing. You can also change this out, so that's fun as well. But yeah, this is just a piece that I adore and will forever have in my collection. Before, if I had to choose, earrings probably would have been my least favorite jewelry pieces, but now they're one of my favorites. I'm gonna start off with the stack on my ears. This first one is this heart from the brand I mentioned earlier, Curve. It matches my heart ring, but I have them in earrings and they're really, really cute. This chain and this ear cuff is from a brand called Ideal and a lot of my earrings are from Ideal. They are a brand that I love. It's about picking a base and then adding on so that you can style your ears in so many different ways. I'll show you guys what I mean, but their pieces are beautiful. Also, the diamonds are also stunning. I'll continue on my left ear first. This diamond hoop is from Missouri and I love these little mini diamond hoops. I have a couple of them. And then this chain, I love chain earrings with the diamonds are from Ideal, as well as this stud and this little like teardrop. Next couple of my earrings are from Ideal and I took off the earrings on this side so I can show you guys how I style it. This first earring is this dangling one. You basically connect the stud earring to the dangling earrings. And then for the next hole, this is one of my favorites. You can actually add two add-ons. Okay, so now we put this together and then I'm actually gonna add another chain. This one also ideal. So now we have this little chain dangling over here, but we're gonna connect to the last piece that I put up here. So something like this. So this is just an example so you guys get an idea, but that's how I've been mixing and matching and styling my ears in different ways. The great thing about these add-ons, you don't actually have to use the diamonds from ideal as the base like this one. I've put a heart. I'll show you guys the rest of my add-on pieces that I love so you guys can take a look. This one is one of their newer pieces. Also these little hoops. This one is just a plain one. Also they have studs, newer, smaller ones. And then these two dangling earrings I love because you can actually also wear it as a necklace. That's again, the modular concept. This diamond teardrop earring because it has this little mini hoop you can actually just slip this onto a chain necklace and it'll dangle like this which is beautiful also this one as well 
being able to wear your earrings as necklaces. How cool is that? The last two earrings are from Curve and they're both more statement pieces and my favorite pearls. This first one reminds me a lot of the Dior ones, but you can wear them either with the big pearl up front or the small pearl on the front as well. Quite big, I would say the big pearl, it would be this big. I like to wear it this way around. And other ones, there are these like little bubble pearls, super cute. And it has these little mini crystals on them. They're worn like this. Last but not least, necklaces. This one that I have right here is from Ideal. Give you guys a little closer look. Again, very beautiful and they're lab grown diamonds, but they're stunning. And this chain is also from Ideal that you can um, put on different lengths. I made mine the tightest, but there's two other options. So this is the first necklace. This bottom necklace is Van Cleef Vintage Alhambra in the Mother of Pearl. And I've had this for a couple of years now and it's still in really great condition. Definitely one of my more delicate pieces because of the Mother of Pearl. It's advised that you don't shower or wear it in the water because it could shrink. But I have showered in it a couple times before, haven't had an issue. I also normally don't like to take off my jewelry pieces, but it hasn't been that much of a hassle to take this one off. So those of you guys who have asked about, you know, whether it's annoying to always have to take on and off, it's been okay. So that's coming from someone who never likes to take their jewelry off. And so yeah, that's the necklaces here. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the other necklaces. This first large diamond necklace is from Missouri. And it is so pretty. Again, the diamond, really beautiful. This one, I know they're similar one at like Tiffany's, but of course this one is like the fraction of the price. And honestly, I think it's worth getting it at Missouri just because I feel like the quality and diamond is equally beautiful. This is a great daily piece. This next gold necklace, this chain, I don't know where it's from. I got it a long time ago, I think, but this pendant, rose pendant is one that I get a lot of questions on. It's from a jewelry, store in New York called New Top Jewelry. It's very close to popular jewelry. They have a bunch of different pendants, chains. So it's a cool place to check out New Top and popular jewelry. And then this next gold chain is passed on from my grandma to my mom to me, but I'll just show you guys because it's a chain that I really like. Not only because it's sentimental, but one of my favorite ways to style necklaces is by the chain thickness and the lengths. So I really like this one. And then these other two are from Missouri. You guys have seen this one a ton. This is a double wrap bracelet. The way I've just been wearing it is by making it a choker. I think this one is the 6.5 inch, but like this, super cute. And then the other one, this is also from Missouri. This is the herringbone gold chain. This one is in Vermeil and this one is the 16 inch. I've been loving this piece. It's actually been my go-to lately and it just fits well with everything. So I love this necklace. The last two pieces, again, these are more fun pieces that I'll throw on whenever, you know, I have a little fun occasion. But this is the black choker necklace. It has a little ribbon detailing. It can be worn like this. The ribbon kind of just dangles on the side, but this is from a Korean brand called Number Ring. They're a really popular brand in Korea. I know they're also sold on Essence W Concept. This next necklace is a pearl with a ribbon. I think it's just a really cute girly necklace. You can also layer it, wear it on its own. That is pretty much everything. This is the updated jewelry collection video. There was a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe gave you guys a little bit of inspiration. I'm going to link all of the pieces down below. I do have discount codes for some of the brands, so I'll also leave that at the top. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.